Hey guys, it's Convolva here and today we are going to talk about this sound. Alright, so this sound has been requested to me a lot of times, so let's get right to it. If you heard the sound, then you might have noticed that there is a loop that is playing and the loop's end point is shifting towards the start point as we play through the sample and it becomes shorter and shorter and shorter, making the loop go faster and faster, which is what creates this rising energy. Alright, so first things first, to create the sound, you would need this plugin called as Direct Wave. This is one of the plugins which comes with the signature bundle of FL Studio. So if you have the trial version or the producer version or the, uh, the fruity edition, then you would have to purchase this separately from ImageLine's website. But if you don't have it, then don't worry, there is something you can do about this. I'm going to talk about it later in the video, so stick around. To get the sound, we first need to have a sample loaded up in Direct Wave. So I've got the orchestral drum sound which I've selected over here. And now I'm going to just drag it over into the sample section of Direct Wave. Remember that longer samples don't necessarily work as well with this technique. So make sure to select a shorter sample. Go inside the loop type and select forward play mode. This will make the loop points for your sample. But since the loop start and loop end points are both at zero, you wouldn't hear anything if you hit a key on your keyboard. So increase the loop endpoint to the maximum and you should be able to hear it. Now we are going to automate both the points by automating this knob for the endpoint and this knob for the start and not this one as this is the sample start and not the loop start. Create these automation shapes for the endpoint and start point and now let's see it in action. Nice, that does sound like the Armin Van Buren riser that he used in his track blah blah and turn it up. But to really sell this effect, we're going to do one more thing and that's going to make it much better. And that is to automate the pitch of the direct wave. So bring the detailed settings by hitting the gear icon over here and increase the pitch range to something like this. And create an automation shape for the pitch knob like so. Okay, let's hear it now. So simple yet so effective. So sometimes you might end up with a steppy digital sound, something which sounds like this, where the loop just keeps jumping from one point to other. So in that case, I would recommend that you make the, sh sh it's a sample now, make the sample shorter in Edison before dragging it and dropping it into direct wave. Okay, what to do if you have other versions of FL Studio? In that case, I have a fully detailed video over here which you can check. But in short, instead of dragging and dropping the sample into direct wave, all you need to do is drag it into Edison first and then create a loop over here like so and then you can drop this sample into direct wave. Now you can automate the pitch knob to get a similar result. Alright, so now here are some of the examples of how to use this to your advantage.
and that about wraps it all up now i have set up a patreon last month where i've added all kinds of benefits such as sample packs private live streams and tutorial requests so you guys can check that out the link is going to be in the description all right guys that's it for today thanks for watching and if you feel like i've helped you then consider hitting the like and subscribe button